And hopefully it's working. I'm my internet has not been been helping me. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm here in Tennessee, uh, relaxing with Roger. This is uh, Crunch's dog, so I'm here in the tiny house just relaxing and I'll be back on trail soon once Crunch gets his work hours needed uh, to keep his job. He only needs to do 20 hours a uh, month to keep his job. So we'll be back on trail soon. Yay, the comments are working. Um, yeah, they weren't working earlier. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure. I think I had some setting that wasn't allowing the comments to come through. Uh, I think I had put it under as made for kids and uh, you need to have it under not not made for kids to so the live chat could go through but anyways i'm here to answer any questions you have uh before i get back on trail and i probably won't be you know able to answer much once i'm out there again because we're going to be going 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 it's definitely getting colder uh my friends on trail that are on right now <laughs> they they said they were cold like it was it was cold like 18 degrees like freezing so I'm glad I'm not out there right now but I have my catabatic quilt so I'm going to stay warm which is nice uh, also as you could tell I have a nose piercing a new uh, nose piercing along with a new tattoo. Um, so yeah, this is for my Nana. She passed away a couple years ago. Um, but yeah. But yeah, send me all the questions, throw them out. What does your quilt look like? Ooh, I could go and show you right now. Let me see. It's in the other tiny house. I'm... Here, Roger. Get up. You want to come? I'll, sh I'll go and show you my the quilt. But yeah, I have a catabatic quilt. Uh, it's a five-degree quilt, the quilt I have. So, um... That'll definitely keep me warm. Five degree quilt. Let's see. Let me walk to it. Come on, Roger. Roger. So here is the quilt. This is the catabatic five degree quilt I have. So this will keep me warm the rest of the trip for sure. See, and you could clip it together. And um, my Thermarest, I got a new Thermarest blow up mattress. It's the X Therm. So this will, um, this combined will definitely keep me warm the rest of the trip. So yeah, that. That's how my quilt looks like, just to answer that question. Um, let's see. Can you show more, show more pictures of fries? Glad you got a new quilt, by the way. Yeah, I'll show all the pictures of fries now. Every, every time I get fries, I'll take a picture. 
I'll try, I'll try to take pictures of all my food because I, uh, I like looking back at the food I get on trail. So I definitely will. Other than the quilt, what other gear changes will you make for cold weather? So I'm, like I said, the Thermarest, the blow-up mattress is going to help me. And then I have my Puffy, my uh, Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer Puffy. So that will be um, another thing that will keep me warm. And I think I'm also going to bring my Melanzana fleece along with me to keep me warm. Um, and I'm switching to my, here I'll show you, my Hyperlite so I could carry more of the, you know, more warm weather gear. So it'll be, my pack will be heavier. Yeah, so I want to, uh, be able to carry more weight. So, yeah. And then I'll, I'll probably carry gloves and um, an, an extra pair of socks. I haven't got those yet, but we'll, we're gonna stop by REI before uh, we go back up um, to where we left off. Just curious what your hiking plans still are. Have they changed since your original plan when, they, when you started? So, um, as of right now, uh, you know, plans, may have changed i'm not completely sure if i'm going to go all the way to florida or not but uh we'll see what happens um i want to finish the benton mckay trail for sure and then uh i'm gonna try to get if not, if I don't finish the pin, if I don't go for the Pinhoti Trail, then I'll go and do the Florida Trail. So it'll be either or, you know. So I might, I probably won't go all the way, depending on time. Um, but I might. It's still an option. So. All right. Let's get inside. When you sleep on the trail and you are not at a shelter, do you use a tarp or tent to cover yourself for the pending snowfall? So, uh, I use a tarp. It's a Z-Pax tarp. And I just set it up. It's always done great for me. Um, I, on the PCT, uh, it would, you know, rain and I'd do fine. And on this trail, um, I was always fine with it pouring down on me. Uh, I might switch to my Lunar Solo, my Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo tent. It's heavier, but uh, it's easier, to, it's like quick to set up, and uh, it might keep, it keep me a little bit more warmer. So we'll see. What about your shoes? Yes, so I got new shoes in Waynesboro, uh, so I'm I'm okay now. Uh, I got the same pair because Ultra gave me another free pair uh, because uh, they just weren't working for me. They uh, they just the the sides were tearing just like the last time, and once you send a picture in, they were like, "Yep." That's, they should last longer, so they sent me a pair, which is nice. Have y'all thought about going ahead and doing the Smokies and Romana in one trip home for work? I swear I'd get Klingmans in that area over with before you're hiking on all ice up high. Um, I'm not too worried about hiking in certain weather. Like, I've hiked in snowstorms and rainstorms like I've hiked in the Sierra in May um, I'm we both will be perfectly fine with whatever the trail throws at us um, we'll just you know if micro spikes are needed we'll wear micro spikes um, we we will push through anything 
I will get through anything. <laughs> so uh, I, I want to continue a the footpath that I'm um, the continuous footpath. I don't want to jump around on this trail if that's possible. So like I did on the PCT, I had to jump around because of the weather, but this trail you could you could hike the trail in the winter. It's just the matter of comfort and I I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable, so I'm just going to continue on and um we'll finish at Springer. That'll be our finish. REI is like a candy store. Don't overspend. I got a great pair of socks there. I know. It's it's really easy to overspend at REI. <laughs> I, I'm like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, I could, you know, I like this. Yeah, no, it's hard. I definitely, I need uh, Crunch to be there to be like, you do not need that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to get probably gloves and some nice warm socks to keep my feet warm uh, at night so you could definitely put the miles in yes I definitely can <laughs> so if I want to go to Florida still uh, and get to Key West I could I could do that if I want uh, it's just a matter of if I want to and uh, we'll just I'll see I I should I really should start stop planning because my plans don't ever go through <laughs> really how's your dad doing with the tat um my dad's never a fan of tattoos but um uh, it is my body and um i hope he gets used to it or accepts it but um yeah no i i love it i know He's not really a fan of it, but I hope he, he, I don't know. <laughs> uh, have you met Hawk yet? I hiked through Massachusetts with him and Alcat back in July. It was awesome. I haven't met Hawk yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I will. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I haven't met him yet. Keep throwing questions at me. Roger. Hi, Roger. You're so cute. You're so cute. Are you carrying your stove now for hot meals and drinks now that the weather has turned cold? I like the nose piercing and tattoo. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to be carrying my stove. Uh, I have an MSR pocket rocket. And, um, so I'll be carrying the stove and we'll be sharing the fuel with Crunch so we don't have, we like, we'll, we don't have to both carry fuel. Uh, so yeah, I'll be carrying that. That'll keep me sane, you know, a warm meal at night or some hot chocolate in the middle of the day if it's freezing. So yeah, that, I'll be carrying my stove now. Did you or did you hike through Southern Ohio? No, I haven't hiked through Southern Ohio yet. I might someday, I'm not sure, but haven't. Is navigating the AT with snow on the ground and trees a potential problem because you can't see the trail and the white blazes? Uh, it wouldn't be a problem, it would be annoying. Um, but it wouldn't be a problem for me because I've definitely done lots and lots of snow hiking. If you go back to my PCT videos, uh, you'll see that you can't see the trail at all. There's no blazes because the PCT doesn't have blazes. And uh, I found, you know, gut hook helps you get down the trail. Um, some, I mean, I probably wasn't on the trail most of the time, but gut hook guides you down um, the trail so it would not be a problem um, I'd be able to get through 
I just have to have gut hook. Um, yeah, so we'll see when that time comes how <laughs> the snow uh, bothers both of us. But I'm I'm kind of I'm excited for the snow. It's gonna be really pretty and it's it'll be different. I mean, I'm gonna be freezing cold, but uh, you know maybe I'll get more miles done that way. I'll push to another shelter or something. Hawk was in hot springs yesterday evening. Oh. Do you have to be back at your job by a certain time? I don't have a job as of right now. Um, I quit Amazon and I'm hiking a trail. Uh, Crunch has a job at Amazon that allows him to keep his job for 20 hours if he does 20 hours a month. But I don't. I um, I had to quit, unfortunately. Um, but I will be able to go back to work and apply. Like I could apply to Amazon and they'll hire me back right away because of the how good my rate was and how like hard of a worker I was. I uh, I was training lots of the new hires coming in during the COVID, um, like March, April that time so uh, I know they, they they know I'm a hard worker so they, they always hire me back so I, I don't have to worry about not getting my job back but yeah so crunch is working his minimum the minimum 20 hours any bear encounters yes so but it was a long time ago and it wasn't really uh, anything special it was in the 100 mile wilderness on this trail. I saw a bear uh, right by one of my friend's tents when I was hiking to uh, Monson. I was getting, I was like, oh, I gotta get to town. I woke up super early and um, the bear was just moseying, moseying along the tent, my friend's tent. And then once it saw me, it just ran and like crossed the river that I had crossed but um, other than that, I haven't seen any since then. So that was the one bear I saw. I'm surprised I didn't see any in Shenandoah National Park. But, well, no, because there was so many people when we were there. Like, we would rock the trail and have to get move to the side like every few minutes because there were so many people. It was beautiful, but it was kind of tiring with the amount of people there. Will you use bear boxes or hang your supplies? So I I use uh, bear boxes um, whenever they're there. I've always when when I'm at the shelter or uh, campground, I'll use the bear boxes. But I it just depends on what section I'm at and where I'm camping. I'll sleep with my food if um, I don't use the bear boxes, but yeah, definitely bear boxes. When do you think you will finish? So I'm thinking before it was, my thinking was around my birthday, November 23rd, but, um, now I'm thinking the first week of December. That's what, uh, Crunch and I are thinking. Um, we, we're not going to be stopping in town much at the end of the trip. We're just going to be pushing so we could get done. Um, we'll see what, what happens. You know, I, I never, I can't plan anything. I can't plan like, oh, I'm going to finish this time because you never know what happens out here on trail. So. So share some of your long-term uh, plans with all these hiking experiences. Will you write a book, be a guide, be a speaker? Hmm. That's, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not that great of a speaker. I'm, I definitely have worked on it the last couple of years. I am, I haven't been that great of a speaker, but, um, I'm working on it, but I don't think that'll be it. A guide, maybe. 
guide people, um, a book, I'm not sure, um, I think for me it would be a park ranger, probably, that would probably be the, what my long, long term goal would be, I'm not, <laughs> that, that, that's a hard question, it's like a, what do you want to do for the rest of your life, or, you know, that's, that's a hard question. I, I should have that figured out, shouldn't I? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just hiking, doing what I love right now. Um, I should I should be thinking about that, though, in the back of my mind, uh, what I want to do, my long-term goal. I'd love to do this for the rest of my life, but <laughs> I know that's not, it's probably not what I can do. Any other trails on the horizon for you? Yes, so uh, originally I planned to finish the Appalachian Trail and then get on the Pinhoti Trail and then the Florida Trail. So that could still happen. It just depends on time and money. So I'll, I'll just have to see as I go. Uh, I'm going to finish the Benton Mackay Trail after finishing the Appalachian Trail, so there's that. Uh, I wanted to hike the Pacific Crest Trail next year and do a yo-yo, so hike uh, from Mexico to Canada and then Canada to Mexico. But it looks like the permits, they're not giving out permits uh, for next year. And I know that I could get the individual permits. Uh, but that would just be so much work for uh, both ways because I want to yo-yo it. So I think I'm going to do the Continental Divide Trail next year. Uh, I might I might do the Arizona Trail and then the Continental Divide Trail right after. So that would be the next trails in the next cup in the next year um, that I will be doing that I hope to do. But like I said, I can't can't promise because I never know <laughs> what's going to happen. Everything changes, but I hope to do those trails in the next year. Uh, we'll see. Triple Crown. Yep, I'm pretty sure I'm I'm doing the Continental Divide Trail next year, and I'll have my Triple Crown. Why do you think the North Country Trail is not so popular? I'm not sure. I have. I will have to do research on that. I will have to do research on that. What are some lessons you learned on this AT hike? What would you have done different so far? Hmm. I don't think I would do anything different I this you know I don't I want to do anything different I've I enjoyed myself I've enjoyed I will I mean maybe I would have uh, not fallen so much on the trail and got a got cellulitis because that's what I got cellulitis earlier um, or I guess when I got the cut on my foot um, I would have gone to the ER sooner so they could have stitched it up. Mm, there's not, I wouldn't change anything. I, I like the way I'm hiking, you know. I, that's a hard question. The, the first one, what, what lessons I have learned on this hike? It's a good question, but, um, I'm not sure if I've learned... A lot any lessons on this hike like when I'm hiking it's it's be, I'm doing what I love and it's more of uh, can I push myself um, every day to like what I want to push I, ah that's a hard question thanks for the hard questions but I don't think I can answer them um, the best thing I did for my feet was start using the Ultra Olympus a bit more money, but my feet have yet to stop thanking me. I've heard that 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 um, 
the Olympus is good, but I'm scared because they're a little higher. I'm scared I'll roll my ankle or, um, you know, something like that will happen. Because the Hoka's, they're tall too. They're like, they... Yeah, they're they're tall. I'm scared to switch to those because they're so high, and I'm scared to roll my ankle. Mm -mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll eventually switch, but I'm we're you know using what's working for me right now, and the ultras, the ultra lone peaks have been working for me. Can we send super chat? Um, I believe so. Hmm. I wish I was more, uh, be like, better at using this, but, yeah, I believe so. If not, then, uh, I wish I knew how to put the super chat on, but if not through here, then, my PayPal would be the best uh, way if you want to support me uh, on the hike or my Venmo as well. And it's all in my, uh, if you look on my YouTube description, it's all there. Thank you for, for offering to send um, Super Chat, which is awesome. I wish I knew how to set it up, but I, I don't. What is the best and worst things about through hiking? The best, everything, everything, everything's the best. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let's see. The best about through hiking, um, the friends, the people you meet out here, um, like my best friends I've met out on trail. Um, the, I mean, obviously the views. It's rewarding to get up you know the mountain and say okay I've hiked 30 miles oh my gosh and now I'm done and you know you eat your meal at the end of the night and you just go to sleep and you're just comfy everything I could name everything about a through hike that is amazing you know I could go on and on about it um worst things uh feet problems blisters what else worst things Getting stuck in the rain. That's type 2 fun, though. <laughs> so, worst things. It's hard to name worst things. Because, like, the hard days, the days you're, like, screaming and yelling and going, Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Or, you know, you're just done. Those days you remember and you go, Wow, you know, I, I did that. I hiked through that. I hiked through that pain. Or I hiked through... Um, like mentally it's tough sometimes but um getting through it is 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 nice um mentally i think mentally is worse uh than physically Men sometimes mentally you get in a some you know in a fuss and that's it's always hard to get out of that but i just listen to music throughout the day and just push on <laughs> A few I know have went away from the Lone Peak because of the longevity issues. I hope Ultra gets us. Yeah, I know. I I honestly might I might switch, but I have the you know the free pair that they gave, so I'm gonna use those, and um, then maybe I'll switch to the Olympus. If not the Olympus, then I'll switch to Hoka because a lot of people have you know been using the Hoka. Um, I think speed goats, so I'll probably switch to those if the ultra lone peaks keep, you know, breaking down on me, so we'll see, I'm not sure. On the right side of your chat box, you will see a dollar sign, okay, let's see. Hmm. See, it's hard because I'm on, let's see, wait, I'm on, uh, on my phone, so, yeah, see, I won't be able to 
do that because I'm live streaming from my phone and I believe I could only do it from a computer. Um, let's see. Yeah. I wish I, w I could, but I, I can't see that on my screen as I'm live streaming. Oh well. But anyways, like I said, if uh, you want to send me things, you could send it through my PayPal and uh, my Venmo. And I'll, I appreciate any help, really. Thank you so much for offering. I love my hokas. I know, a lot of people do. And I'm just afraid to switch because they're so high and I'm afraid to ro roll my ankle. But I think I might uh, after, I might switch to hokas after this, um, this pair that I, this new pair that I got of ultras. When the International AT is finished, would you hike it? Uh, that's an option. That's always an option. I can... I'll hike it. I'll hike it. <laughs> uh, we'll we just have to see what the future brings. All I know is that I'm doing CDT next year, maybe Arizona Trail. CDT for sure, so I can get my triple crown. Um, Arizona Trail, it's a possibility. I want to do the Pinhoti and the Florida Trail, but we'll see what happens. You know, I, I don't plan things anymore. <laughs> Because things don't always go as planned. Us viewers can see it. I see it. Oh. I wish I could. <laughs> but thank you anyways. You're amazing, Daisy. I'm so impressed with your hiking abilities and love your style. You're a rock star. Thank you. Oh, I love comments like that. It really do make my day. Um, when I, when I look at the comments, when I'm on trail and see positive comments like that, it just, you know, gets me down the trail. So thank you. Thanksgiving plans? Uh, no, sadly. Um, it would be nice to, you know, be with family and, you know, eat a nice dinner and do that. But no, I think I'm going to be on trail. Uh, maybe we'll... Crunch and I will be close to a town, and we'll go and eat something. But um, yeah, no, it's just trail. Maybe I'll maybe I'll pack out some stuffing, and I'll make stuffing on Thanksgiving. And then uh, November eighteenth is Crunch's birthday, and November twenty third is my birthday. So we'll probably do something for our birthdays as well. <laughs> I'm not sure what, but. We'll do something. <laughs> do you carry a backup battery for your phone? Have you run out of power on the trail? So I carry a ridiculous uh, battery pack. It's an Anchor, um, Anchor 26,000. No, it's 26,800. 26,800. That's ridiculous. It's it's literally a brick. Um, if you look at my gear video that I made before, you'll see it in there. It's ridiculous. I could, you know, it could be a weapon, the, the, the anchor I have. So I have not run out of power on trail because that charges my phone so many times. I haven't even run out of power on the battery pack. So yeah, no, I haven't. And my, the battery pack I have is a fast charge, so when I'm in town, it charges really fast. So, Anchor battery pack, 26800 And I probably should go, like, get a smaller one. But I, I like having that much so I could record as much as I want and listen to music as much as I want, um, take as many pictures, you know. So, no, I haven't lost any power. The people that say negative things are normally the people that wouldn't walk around the block. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. 
Hey Daisy, I want to chat with you. I could help you raise funds via YouTube viewers if you're interested. I streamed my life on the PCT last year. Oh yeah, I'd love I would love to chat with you. Um message me on all you do is stream how you're doing now. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, message me on Instagram and we could talk about we could talk more. We could talk about the PCT as well. I love talking about the PCT, so um yeah, just message me and get what I'll figure out what I, um how to make more fun so I could do this for the rest of my life, right? <laughs> that would be nice. Um but yeah, throw more questions at me. Roger, come on, come on. This is Crunch's dog, Roger. Nope. But yeah, so I'm just relaxing and uh, Crunch is at work right now. So I'm just relaxing here until he comes back. And then once his 20 hours is done, uh, we'll be back on trail. Well, well, we rented a car, drove to Tennessee, and um, now he's working. We'll drive back uh, up to Waynesboro. We're, we're not in Waynesboro anymore, though. We are... 30 miles past Waynesboro, so uh, right below the priest. We'll do that climb first thing. <laughs> but anyways, I'm super excited to get back on trail. Um, let's see. Is Crunch doing the CDT with you? He might. I'm not 100%. I can't speak for him, but uh, he definitely wants to get his triple crown as well. So, he probably will be doing the CDT next year. Um, but it's still, I can't speak for him. Thanks about the tip on the anchor. Amazon's out of them, though I carry three ring, three things and still run out. Yeah, definitely get a big anchor. I, uh, it helps me. Like, I don't, I don't have to worry about anything. Um, and I was carrying a Garmin at one point, but that, um, the, the charger wasn't working. So I sent it home. Like, the charging port, I guess, wasn't working because I've used it so many times. So I've sent it home and I hope that we could get it fixed. Send it, like, send it to Garmin and get it fixed. We'll see. Hey girl, hey. Hey, what's up? Were you on trail for Hurricane Zeta that passed up the East Coast? No, I wasn't. So we, yeah, we got off trail right before. <laughs> right before we, we looked and we saw that the hurricane was coming. We were like, oh, perfect time to go and uh, get your hours done. So we were off trail then. So that was nice. But yeah, we'll be back on trail soon. Um, it was, so that's why I'm live streaming. So I could get all the questions answered before I'm on trail. And probably won't go live because we'll be um, out of service. Sent you a DM. Happy trails and stay smiling. Will do. I'll message you when, uh, when I can when I'm off this live stream. Hey Smiles, how are you doing? I am doing great. <laughs> I got a new piercing and a new tattoo and I'm just relaxing with my dog. My dog. Yeah, this is my dog now. This isn't Crunch's dog, this is my dog now. I said my dog. Crunch's dog. This is Crunch's dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, just, just relaxing. Um, be back on trail soon. I've got 
all warm gear now, so I'm super excited. I'm going to be um, all comfortable. Um, yeah, and I'll be eating warm meals on trail, which is exciting. <laughs> but but I'm still going to be cold, I know that. Because it cold over here, cold on the AT is a lot different than cold on the PCT. On the PCT, I was, fr no, not freezing. On the PCT, I was fine. On the AT, this cold is totally different. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to have to get used to it. <laughs> Okay, let's see. But yeah, so I just wanted to update all of you on what is going on and why there hasn't been videos um, put up recently. Because so, I'm off trail as of right now. I'm just relaxing and waiting for Crunch to do his hours. And then we'll be back on. Thanks for sharing your journey. Thank you for following along. I'm... I mean, why would anybody want to watch me? I'm just a regular person. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, thank you for following along. I love sharing everything. Uh, I love sharing it f with my family and uh, my friends. And it's just, it's great. Less humidity here, I think. And oh, you mean on the PCT? Yeah, there's... I think it is the humidity like on the PCT there isn't any on the AT there is so it seems colder when um, it is cold no on the AT, on the AT mm, mm, it's not humid in California Oregon and Washington at all so I'm not I'm not sure but anyways Throw last minute questions. I'm gonna get off soon. Let's see. Hey, Smiles, can you give me your thoughts on the high top ultras? Did they help the ankles? Uh, yes. So, I love the high top hot, the high top ultras on the PCT last year. Um, I like them. I had them in the Sierra, so when I would post hole in the snow and uh or fall and trip um they would protect my my ankles a little bit from being um like scraped from the snow because the snow would be hard and oh gosh the amount of times i'd fall and my skin would just be ripped open because of the snow um the the high top ones i like them a lot so if you're doing the PCT, or like any snow hiking, in my opinion, get those. But don't get the waterproof ones, because then you'll get blisters, and that's not, not nice. So yeah, the high top ultras, they, they were really nice on the PCT last year. Um, I would definitely get them again. Maybe I'm super n nosy, but how do you support yourself financially? I know you live at home with your parents, but I'm sure you have to find other ways of paying for your hikes. So, no, I work at Amazon uh, when I'm off trail. And I work lots and lots and lots of hours. I just work as many hours as I can. So, if they offer overtime, I'm there. Um... So, I, when I'm off trail, when I'm at home, um, either living with my grandparents or my parents, uh, I just work as many hours as I can. Amazon offers so many hours, especially during peak season. So, that's uh, like Thanksgiving through January. Uh, they offer lots and lots of hours. Uh... And I'll take every opportunity I can to work. And then I don't spend my money. I don't go out much. I, you know, I go to work, I come home. I go to work, I come home. The only thing I'm spending money on is gas. And that's, that's expensive in California. Because <laughs> over here in Tennessee, it's like a dollar seventy right now. Which is ridiculous. 
ridiculous because in California it's probably 275 the cheapest one you know the cheapest guess but uh yeah I don't spend my money when I'm at home so all, all I do is save 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 and I don't go out hi Daisy hi you got that right. Nothing ever seems to go as planned here anyway. Yeah. I can't plan anything. So we'll just see what happens. <laughs> Gotta run. Stay safe and I will DM, DM you soon. Alright. Talk to you later. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. Lots of people ask, you know, they're like, how do you support yourself? Um, you know, I'm like, well, you just can't go out and spend money on things. <laughs> I guess I'm antisocial at home because I, you know, my friends will go, hey, let's go out, you know, but then they spend like so much money on drinks or so much money on going to like the movies and, you know, going shopping. They'll spend all their money on clothes, but I don't do that. I just stay at home and work. But anyways, it was nice talking to all of you. Um, I'm going to head off this live stream. Uh, if any of you have any other questions, you can message me on Instagram. Um, I'm going to be here, so I'll be able to message you guys back. So, yeah, now I'm just relaxing with Roger. Um, we'll see be on trail soon so you'll get more videos soon uh yeah thanks for following along and thanks for all your support i really appreciate it bye everybody oh thanks for coming on sent you a venmo i'll message you right now thank you bye guys